have received this comment, hi bro, can you please create a step-by-step -step tutorial on setting up PFSense OpenVPN with split tunneling configuration? Also configure VPN client on Ubuntu. Please consider this as a request. Okay, so I'm going to make a video on this topic. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's topic, we are going to cover OpenVPN setting on PFSense and then we will configure split tunneling and we will test that on Ubuntu server. So first of all, we are going to configure OpenVPN server and then we will move forward from there. Okay, so I'm going to log in into my PFSense. So for this lab, I'm not using any test firewall. It's a production firewall and it's running on my cloud network what I use for my business kind of stuff and uh, let me go to the package manager first and see if I do have uh, OpenVPN installed but by default in most of the versions of PFSense you will see firewall installed here if you don't see any you can go to available packages and then search for that like in case I need uh, WireGuard, I can install it from here, but currently I don't need WireGuard. I'm going to work on OpenVPN. So go to OpenVPN and I have this sheet. I will put the description, uh, the download link in the description and you can see and do step by step or you can follow along with the video. So these steps are with the manual configuration, but I'm going to use the wizard, which is more easy and it creates uh the firewall rules for you also the certificates for you so that will save a lot of time for you but if you want to go with the manual one you can use this method okay i'm going back to the pfsense okay so as i told you i'm going to use the wizard if i want to do uh, everything manually i just need to click on add and then do everything manually so in the wizard we are going to choose local user access because we are going to create users in the local machine or in case if you have radius or ldap you can use that but if you don't know about these two just ignore those and click on uh, local user access and then click next and it's saying step 6 of 11 so here we are going to create a certificate authority so first we will create certificate authority and then the certificate so certificate authority you can give it a name uh, i'm gonna say let's say zonic solutions art and then we are going to select lifetime and then open uh, the name for the authority uh, which is going to be the common name so i'm just going to say zonic solutions ca and then you can set country code whatever and uh, other stuff as well so click on add new ca and make sure it's on step 7 and here you will see to select a certificate from we are going to create a new one but if you're doing things manually then you will find uh, certificate here but we are going through uh, a wizard and it will create everything for us like rules uh, certificates but the users we will need to create users it won't be in the wizard okay and then uh, go ahead and click on add new certificate and here you need to provide the certificate name so let's say zs ssl and uh, lifetime and then the name going to say zs cert and then the country code and everything and then click on create new certificate if the certificate is created then it should show you the step 9 and here we will set the server name the actual open vpn server name so now the configuration is for open vpn previously it was for certificates okay open vpn server that's the name i want to set and then I'm going to select TCP, IPv4, and IPv6 on all interface multi home. And then the WAN interface. Um, so, for any kind of VPN configuration, make sure the interface is WAN because when we want to connect to any of the VPN server, uh, we use the public IP address or the FQDN. So, that's 
always on the van address and if this is the local port i would prefer not to change that if you're uh, doing this first time or doing this for test but when you are like so much familiar with this one you can change the local port and then you will have to change the port on uh, the firewall as well okay the next thing is going to be the tunnel network which i want to select this one and you can see in the description as well it's saying cidr that means the whole network not the ip address and then we are going to set the local uh, address here my uh, lan address is this one after uh, completing the configuration i will show you the address as well and then uh, you can define concurrent connections as well and uh, allow compression make sure it's set to uh, refuse and then the last thing i would say is going to be subnet and these things are required and other than that the dns server if you have one you can choose that or do the google one and that's it all these other things are optional but if you want you can set that and then click on next and here it's asking for the firewall rule for open uh, VPN configuration. So we have two rules here traffic from clients to server make sure it's checked traffic from clients through VPN Make sure it's checked and then click on next. We are on uh, step 10 So on step 11 it should show if it uh, was created or completed whatever or failed If you see any errors, then that means you need to fill out more information so our configuration is completed and then we can go to user manager to create users so i'm going to click on finish and after clicking finish i should see open vpn server here like it says van and a protocol the port number and the tunnel network what we set up and the local uh, network so this is going to be the ip range for the vpn clients and as i told you i'm going to show you my lan address but i said 8.0.0.0 so this is my ipv4 address for my lan and then uh, after completing vpn you should uh, verify in three places first is going to be open vpn make sure the server is there and then the next one is going to be certificate make sure your authority is here like as i created this one for zone solution auth and certificate it should be like two certificate one for the gui for this uh web configurator and the second one is the ssl what i created okay and then the third place is going to be user manager so here i will create user click on add and then create a new user and let's say i'm gonna say test vpn okay and then you can give it uh, a name whatever you want expiration date and make sure to do not change anything here because if you create this user uh this user will definitely be able to access the firewall but if you just keep things as it is it's gonna be like uh not member of anything like if i accidentally click on admin and move it to here so the other user i'm creating for vpn would be able to access the firewall and can do anything because it's going to become the group um, in the group of admins okay and the most important thing make sure to click on create a user certificate and then give it a name so as this one is going to be test vpn i'm just going to say test vpn and the authority is this one so when you set this name you know which one to select if you have multiple and then a key type just leave it as it is and the lifetime you can set and then click on save okay after saving you should see another user and if you go to certificates and under certificates you will see another certificate as well the test vpn so this is for specifically that user and after that there is another module you need to install because you cannot download the configuration uh, in the open vpn okay, when you go to client you won't see anything here so go to system and then uh package manager 
and then available packages and then search for uh, open VPN hopefully it will sh uh, show it should show I don't exactly remember the name so yeah this is the one open VPN client export confirm and once it's installed it should show another tab under open VPN server so it's successfully installed and then I'm going to go to uh, wait what did I install okay yeah open VPN uh, package so here you can see the last one was previously wizard now it's saying client export and as I have only one server open VPN this one uh, if you remember while creating open VPN server I, I gave it this name so it's gonna show you the server name make sure you're selecting the correct one and then scroll down and find the user but if you have like different users under different servers so you'll need to select the specific server to see the users for that so currently i have just one and one user and if you're using windows machine just download any of those like if you have 64 bit then this one or uh, 32 bit but if you have OpenVPN client already installed on your system, then you need to just only download the config file. So I'm going to download the config file and on the other side, 64 bit this as well. So I can show you. Okay, here I am in the downloads folder and I have this OVPN file. This is just a configuration file. And this one, if I click on this one, you will see uh, this kind of error you just don't need to be worried about it it's just open vpn client click on more info and then run anyway and it will install uh, the application on your computer so let me check i guess i had open vpn uh, but i think i uninstalled let me check one more time the control panel if i have it if not then we can install it that's not a big deal so yeah i think i i uninstalled it but i had it for some purpose okay so that's why i downloaded both files if i have it i can use the configuration file otherwise i can click on this one and then uh, install the open vpn client just going to close this thing and uh, if you choose the installer it will have the configuration file uh, on um, uh, with it so you don't need to download the configuration file just download this one and it will download everything for you and you just need to install it and then after installation uh, OpenVPN is completely installed and uh, yes and then yes okay so now it's installed no readable connection profiles found import uh, okay so it, it's saying you need to put your configuration files in this one I'm just going to ignore this one because I know it it will have this uh, user already so in in uh, the right bottom menu where you see your network connections and volume stuff like that you should see this uh, tiny computer here if you don't see it here it should be somewhere right here right click on this one and then click on connect now it's going to ask you for the username and password so our username is test vpn and i said the password test one two three four so i'm just going to click on save password and as i told you we set up the ip address 10 uh, 172.16.200.0 so it should be under 172 uh, 16.200 if the configuration was all set okay yeah here you can see 172.16200.2 okay so uh let me try uh pinging something so my web server local ip address is 10.0.0.5 so i'm gonna try this one if I can ping it I cannot ping it so um, 
yeah this is the tunnel configuration and we are getting this ip address so i'm not able to ping this one because i'm connected to the vpn server and all the traffic is forced through the tunnel so i i won't be able to uh, like connect any of the local uh, machine or the local um, local server on on the network of pfsense or the open vpn so for split tunneling what we do we just uncheck this one and we define our local uh, network and then click on save so now it's gonna use the split tunneling and we are testing this on windows machine right now and we will do this on ubuntu server as well okay let me try pinging this again so now you can see i'm able to ping because now i'm using split tunneling and it should show the same ip address of my uh, local network so let's tr uh, test that as well so what is my ip <clears throat> it should show something like 74 or something so yeah this is my home network public ip address but my pfsense ip address is different it's in some uh, somewhere in 200 series so just go back to the configuration and just uncheck the split tunneling so that way we won't be able to uh, connect to the local network and i'm going to click on redirect ipv4 and use uh, don't use the split tunneling and then i'm going to click on save the good thing about P about pfsense openvpn you don't need to disconnect and reconnect the user and let me just refresh it and now you can see it's showing 216 ip address without splitting uh, without using the split tunnel but as i click on uh, like you can consider that option as split tunnel to use the split tunnel so that way i will still be able to psense but i will be using my public ip address so i will still using my location not the pfsense location okay so i think this video has gone too long uh, i will make another video for testing this on ubuntu server so if you want to learn about that make sure to uh, see the next video thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye